This is the Riverhawk Report, a weekend recap for Tuesday, February 23rd, 2010. It was not a real good weekend for Riverhawk sports. Both basketball teams lost, hockey split up in Maine. And that is the bottom line, and that is where we will start. In Hockey East, especially this late in the season, it is paramount that a team get points every single weekend. It wasn't easy, but that is exactly what the Hockey Riverhawks did. After a frustrating Friday night at the Alfond Arena, Little House of Horrors, UMass Lowell stepped up Saturday night and battled. And battled some more. Showed grit and determination and a refusal to surrender. Even for the best teams in the country, the Alfond Arena has never been an easy place to play. It's small and noisy and uncomfortable and hockey pucks seem to have a mind of their own in Orono. And UMass Lowell has had little success there the last quarter century. Second nights, Saturday nights are never easy either. You're a bit tired and a little beaten up to start with. But on Saturday night, the Riverhawks took command of the hockey game and they grabbed two points. UMass Lowell defeated the Black Bears of the University of Maine that second night. 4-2 was the final. We got a lot of energy going early. I just thought we uh, we had a lot more structure in our game tonight, more energy. We had a lot of guys play really well from Carter all the way through. Corey Felitti got a couple big goals, and it was a great team effort. The guys really deserved it. That is head coach Blaze McDonald. The Riverhawks were up against it from the start. An odd goal, a greasy goal, one of those seeing-eye curling shot type goals. But the Riverhawks responded. A Colin Wright goal tied it. Riley Wetmore put the Riverhawks on top late in the second period. And Corey Felitti, who became a 100 career point scorer, added two goals in the third period. He also had an assist earlier in the evening. Off the draw puck comes to Blair. Wines. Fires, glove save, rebound, loose, a scramble, score! I believe that may have been Colin Wright who knocked it in, but we are tied at a goal apiece. It Wetmore to the right power. corner, put it back behind the net. Coming out of the corner, Felitti to Wetmore, shot, score! Riley Wetmore drilled it between the legs of goaltender Scott Darling. The Pokes it loose, Patrick Saint out of the corner, toward the net, shot, save, rebound, score! River Hawks take a... Three to one lead. Patrick C driving to the front of the net. Got the puck on goal, and I believe Corey Felitti knocked it home. Sent it into the main zone. Felitti there. Felitti off the boards, right side. Felitti shot. Score! Corey Felitti snapped a wrist shot. Lowell has a great legacy of hockey players for sure, but Corey has a knack. You know that fourth goal was a huge goal. You know, that's what we've seen out of him over his four years. He has a knack for scoring big goals, and I'm glad to see it coming right now. Corey Felitti, the Bill Ricca native, now has 102 career points. He is the 39th player to reach the 100-point milestone while at UMass Lowell. Felitti's first goal was the game winner, the 13th game winner of his career, second most in UMass Lowell hockey history. Riverhawk goaltender Carter Hutton was outstanding. He made 24 saves on the night. The win was exactly what the Riverhawks needed, and now they need to find consistency. There are four games remaining in the regular season, and in what has been an extraordinarily competitive season in Hockey East, they still have a shot at home ice. If this doesn't give us an understanding of who we need to be and what we're all about, I, I don't know what will. So uh, this is a very, very big win for us. I thought both teams played well, and, and this should uh, catapult us to next weekend. This coming weekend, the River Hawks have two with Providence College. Friday night at the Sanga Center, Saturday down in Rhode Island. Before we switch gears, we should mention the Friday night loss to Maine. A strange game to say the least as the puck seemed to act with a mind of its own. It was an 8-4 loss. The Riverhawks got goals from Michael Budd, Colin Wright, Ben Holmstrom, and Paul oh, Worthy. Good work by Wetmore. Took it away. Got it to Mana from the slot. Trying to turn a defender. Little backhander save. Rebound. Bud shot. Scored! And the Riverhawks have cut the lead in half. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Michael Budd will get the goal. Pass misses. Budd now picked off toward the net. That is Colin Wright. Shot. Score! Colin Wright with a goal. For Felitti a now into the main zone. Felitti to Holmstrom. Shot. Score! Benny Holmstrom from a ridiculous angle. Put it under Pass the Pass broken up. Board. Holmstrom now to Worthington into the attack zone. Felitti. Worthington toward the net. Shot. Score! Paul Worthington snapping off a wrist shot. And he did. The UMass Lowell basketball teams had a rough weekend. Men and women both played at St. Anselm, and both came up short. The women were beaten 58-54. Amanda McGrew led the Riverhawk attack with 15 points. Shanae Bushner added 11. The Riverhawks are now 16-9, 12-9 in the Northeast 10 Conference, and have secured home court for the playoff opener. The Riverhawks will wrap up the regular season Wednesday night at Franklin Pierce.
UMass Lowell men were walloped by St. A. 101-70 to was the final. St. Anselm hit on better than 63% of its shots. The Riverhawks numbers, 39.4%, was no match for that. Matt Wells led Riverhawks scoring with 15. Kevin Carr and Ali Kanan each added 11. Carr, by the way, is now a member of the 1,000-point club, the 34th Riverhawk to reach that milestone. UMass Lowell is now 15-11, and 12-9 and in the conference. They visit Franklin Pierce Wednesday night. And that's the Riverhawk Report for Tuesday, February 23rd, 2010.